Good morning vlog. I feel like I always say good morning even if it's not morning to say hi to my vlog. I was just in Rome a few weeks ago, had to go to Miami for a job, I had to go home to just like reset. Honestly, I had a two day photo shoot and now I'm back in Europe, in Paris. I absolutely adore Paris and I am so grateful to be here with Too Faced and obviously Tommy too. Also guys, look at how pretty these strawberries are. I ordered strawberries and a cappuccino and the woman I called was like, do you want whipped cream with it? And I was like, that sounds amazing. Wow. Okay, well that's insane. Anyways, the real reason I am here is for the French Open for Roland Garros, which is a Grand Slam tournament. I've said this before, but there are only four Grand Slams a year. So it's definitely one of the biggest tournaments of the year. So it's very cool to be working with a brand at this tournament and then getting to stay at my favorite hotel, the Ritz in Paris. It is the most gorgeous kind of over the top Parisian hotel. It, it's really just so nice. So I'm very excited to be here. And this isn't like a traditional influencer trip. It's only me um, creating content with Too Faced. I'm doing something very big and exciting with them this summer so stay tuned for that i have something else to tell you guys that's really crazy you guys are going to think this is very unwell so i had this trip with two base for the french open booked months ago and the tennis schedule is really great because it is what it is and it really really doesn't change so i can sort of like map out my whole year on like where I'm gonna be for like the bigger tournaments. Like I know I'm gonna be in Paris for the French Open. I know in July I'm gonna be in London for Wimbledon, in August for the US Open. So it's quite easy for me to say yes or no to work and because I'm just like at these bigger tournaments. I received a call from my agent two weeks ago with an offer to be the face of a certain campaign that is going to be in store all over the country. And not only that offering me a lot of money, that I could not turn down during this tournament. So, because I don't do enough traveling, I'm going to be, if Tommy wins, flying from Paris to New York City for a fitting on the 29th, the shoot on the 30th, and then flying back to Paris on the 30th to go to Tommy's third round match, if he is still in the tournament. But luckily the flight to Paris is actually super easy. It's like a six hour direct flight from New York. It's sort of like going to LA, similar time but there is customs which like adds a level of difficulty to the travel day but i'm gonna do it if you guys haven't noticed i'm extremely career driven i have very big goals for myself and for my career i'm very grateful to have a partner tommy who is just like so incredibly supportive of my career and everything that i'm doing he's so excited for me and is really like my number one fan so very grateful to have his support and yeah i'm very excited about the opportunity i'm gonna be so tired but i'm really excited about it but yeah i just wanted to warn you guys when you see me like in paris for a few days and then the vlog all of a sudden cuts to me in new york and then potentially coming back do not be alarmed got the cat out of the bag now that we're caught up on that <laughs> I'm just having a little coffee and breakfast. The only way that I can beat jet lag is chugging cappuccinos all day long. So gonna finish my coffee and then I'm gonna head to lunch downstairs with my friend Mia. And then I'm actually gonna head to the site today. I thought it was really fun to give you guys like a tour of the tennis site and grounds. So I think I'm gonna go watch Tommy's practice and show you guys around a little bit. Also guys, look how cute this new phone case sample is. Also guys, while I was home for like five days, I had two photo shoots, one of which were for a new home brand. I've been sampling bedding for like, I feel like a year and a half now. And we finally shot the campaign for our bedding. I actually did film a whole home vlog, but it has so much of like the product and the campaign in it that I really want the campaign and the content around the campaign to be very exciting and sort of like a surprise. You guys know I'm watching betting, but so I want that to all be a surprise. So, so that vlog is gonna come out probably around the time that I launch the betting. But I will tell you guys, if you didn't know, my brand Dairy Boy launched like a daughter 
company that is American Charm that is going to be all of my home goods. It was originally going to be Dairy Boy Home, but I really liked the idea of having like two different names in two different places that the products live. And doing some like field research, I think that it can get really confusing when a brand launches something entirely different product wise on a clothing brand site. I don't know, I just think it like deserves two separate moments and it's two entirely different things. Some people might wanna follow home decor, inspiration, garden and home cooking products and home products and some people might not want to follow a clothing brand so like it's really two different lanes and i wanted to keep it that way so yeah i wanted to tell you guys that if you want to follow it or follow along so yeah i'm gonna get dressed now for lunch i will see you guys down there okay here's my outfit for today my jeans are from girlfriend on revolve my shoes are from mio mio and then my top is from reformation Are you bored? <laughs> Anything else to say to the vlog? Yeah. What? Stop, Tommy. Do you think they have Bloody Marys in Paris? Or is that an American thing? You know, I'm not quite sure. But we're gonna find out. I have a feeling that we're gonna find out. Doesn't that sound really good? Mm, I'm not a huge Bloody Mary guy, so it does not sound particularly good. What do you want to drink? Mm. Beer? No, I'm good. Bonjour. Do you guys have Bloody Marys here? Wow, I thought that was an American thing. Amazing. Can I please get one Bloody Mary and then one beer? What um, beer do you want, babe? What do they have? What do you have? Peroni? You want okay. that? Heineken, Stella, Peroni, right? Sure. That's all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look how busted I look. You don't look busted at all. I look like fucking big toe. You hit really well at practice. Yeah. I'm actually like really, really concerned about it. <laughs> I hate practicing well before tournaments. I hate it. It's Wait, like, why? The number one thing. Like when I'm practicing well, I always play horrible. When I'm practicing shit, I always play unreal. I like practicing bad. Like I'm gonna full tank tomorrow to make sure I have a bad practice for the tournament. No! I got my Bloody Mary and it is so good. Okay guys, we are going to um, this spot that we went to last year. Was that for the French Open? I yeah. believe so. Tommy made his reservation last year. How did you find it? Just randomly? Well, I think we were supposed to go to the place across the street. Oh. And then there's a line, and then we ended up just going there. We are going to this place called Anna. It's a Mediterranean restaurant. It actually has like super bad reviews online. It's super expensive, but the food was so good. And it's Mediterranean food. Yeah, I was very shocked to see the reviews when I looked it up after. My sweater is from Loewe. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. I got dragged. I said like Lowe's or something like a year and a half ago. Yeah, I only know because Riley was on the Webby shit like five years ago. Like he loved It's a it. pretty cool designer. I got this last year during Wimbledon and then I'm wearing vintage Levi's jeans, Adidas, and then these pink socks that are actually Dairy Boy, but I was just too lazy to change them. They don't look good. <laughs> Do you know what that's for? Oh. ASMR. Yeah, I don't think guys do that very much. I don't think so either. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm heading now to a lunch that I arranged with Diane for Lily. Lily is the wife of another coach on tour and it's her birthday so we wanted to put together a little girls lunch. I'm heading there now. Tommy's match is until tomorrow so I'm just gonna be like hanging around today. I actually have another. I just filmed a little makeup video that will probably already be up. I, I just did this whole makeup look with you guys. Now I'm all, oh my God, I'm literally like getting out of breath from talking. This is really pathetic. Anyways, I just got dressed. I'm so obsessed with this outfit that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing black capris and a little top from Ferragamo today. Literally could not be more excited about this outfit. My stylist has just done like the most amazing job I feel like since we started working together of doing things that are me but definitely like out of my comfort zone and things that I definitely would not like pull for myself and then I end up wearing it and then loving it. I also realized how bad I was at shopping ever since working with her. But anyways, this is my look for today. The weather in Paris this time of year is definitely a little bit like rainy, cold, sometimes warm, similar to the East Coast, um, but very excited about this outfit today. About to go take some photos with this really incredible fashion photographer in Paris. And then I'm heading to the site for Tommy's match. So I will see you guys there. What's the other one? You have the other one. No, you kind of show yes, me. You have. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have. There's not a ton happening here right now. There's really not. Hi. Right, the end of the day, but. but it's actually pasta really pretty. Bar. Pasta bar. Inside, make your own pasta. We've got the grill, the cheese stand. My pants are undone. I, uh, we got all these goodies. Look at all these goodies. Look at all that good stuff. That's what you get for winning your match. You get this lovely surprise. Look at all that good stuff. And then we even got some pillows over here. <laughs> Look at that. They're so nice. They're so nice. And then some, some little goodies. Not really sure what any of that is. Another Too Faced. Okay guys, I'm just editing some content from today and every single night I've been ordering a crepe. Honestly, twice a day I've been ordering um, a strawberry, oh. Twice a day I've been ordering a strawberry Nutella crepe. Okay, gonna eat this 
edit some of my stuff. How many crepes have we been eating every night? Tell them. At least three a person. Yeah, yeah. at least. And yeah. I had two chocolate croissants this morning and French toast. Well. My eating habits have been better. Oh, okay. Well, I am leaving tomorrow. So I have to pack and run to New York for a photo shoot. I Should I vlog the photo shoot, like in the whole travel and come back? The whole thing? Why not? Okay. I mean, it's, it's just a lot, but. I know, but. They do don't it. get to see all that. They got to see it all. We're still going. <laughs> We're still going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a six hour flight back to New York. And then, which isn't that bad, and then photo shoot in New York, staying at my favorite hotel in New York, so I'm not excited about the travel and how tired I'm going to be, but I'm excited for the opportunity. We're very blessed. <laughs> Good night. Just wearing this top today from Reformation. Jeans are the girlfriend ones I've been wearing all week. And then my favorite little Mew Mew shoes. We are about to head to the first thing of today, which is the fitting for the shoot tomorrow. And then today I'm also going to be meeting with a bunch of different agencies. So a lot of agencies are like buyers for big brands that I would want to potentially do deals with. Then there are a few bigger brands that I'm going to meet with today. Meeting people in person goes a very long way and I'm never in New York so wanting to make the most of my time here. Okay guys, I had a very, very long day. Um, I could not film any of the fitting for obvious reasons and then I had a meeting with four different agencies and a very big meeting at WME, which is my agency, and they cover like all sorts of different sort of sectors of business and entertainment. So I met with like a bunch of different people across a lot of different boards, which was very exciting and cool. It was a very long day. It's 6 p.m. now and I just got home. I have a quick um, design touch base meeting for Dairy Boy, gonna join that. And then my mom and I say hi. Hey. My mom is here to keep me company um, for today and tomorrow, which I'm very grateful for. Um, we're going to get an early dinner, and then I have an 8 a.m. call time for the shoot tomorrow. Hey. 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 How was your day? I had the longest day of a lifetime. I met with like shooting tomorrow. Yeah, shoots tomorrow at 8. Um, okay, so I just wanted to set up a meeting to kind of talk about where my head was at for Christmas time. And I'm saying this word lot, but look. Oh, vlog, vlog, vlog. My mom and I are being rats. Well, I don't know if it's mom is. <laughs> we should have ordered dessert. That wasn't. Yeah, wait. Can we can we look at the menu? Um. Hey guys, we just ordered room service. Now I ordered an IV to make sure I stay healthy because the amount of traveling that I'm doing is not normal. But I'm loving life. I'm living, laughing, and loving. Honestly, like I am a bit tired, but I'm very happy. Cause I'm here. True. All right, dessert. Anyways, yeah, I'm just getting an IV, some vitamins for my health. Can we get this food out of here? It's stinking up the joint. I started in telemetry. That was my very first job, but I then quick I quick Hello, blog. 
on. I wrapped the shoot today. I unfortunately could not film much of the shoot. Or no, I did film, I did actually film a lot of the shoot. I just couldn't, I just can't show you guys a lot, which sucks. But I got a bunch of new makeup pouches for my makeup. I travel with literally six to seven different makeup pouches from my hair to skincare to makeup. I have way too much products that I'm traveling with on the road and I don't even have room in the hotel for the amount of like beauty stuff that I bring with me. So we're really gonna try to consolidate. My mom's gonna bring a bunch of my makeup that I don't need for the road um, to my house in Connecticut. But I got one big one, one medium one, and one small one. So I love like a matching set moment. I am honestly a clothing underpacker, but a beauty makeup hair skin overpacker, which is sort of funny. Like I never have enough outfits at all, but in the beauty stuff, it's like crazy, the amount of stuff I have. Also, obviously I was just um, in Paris with Too Faced, so um, got a lot of products from that too, but we're gonna go through this, and my mom is so sweet, she's gonna help me. Um, but we got it all set up, and we're gonna go through it now. And then after this, I'm gonna go run and grab a drink with my three girlfriends at Zero Bond, gonna see them um, before I head right back to Paris. Okay, just wearing this to go get drinks. I'm honestly so tired that I feel like I can't even sleep but really want to go see my friends. So just gonna have like a quick drink, literally just like stop and say hi to them and then get in cozy clothes and go to sleep. I am gonna run a few errands today and see one of my childhood friends and then back to Paris. I go. Okay, we are back like we never left guys I did not miss anything in Paris it was raining the entire time and all of the matches are getting so delayed from the rain it's crazy just waiting for the matches and wear this travel sweater set with a big jacket to the match Tommy unfortunately lost his match but I'm really really glad that I came to support him um, it's really not about whether he wins or he loses obviously I'm so happy when he wins, but it's just really about showing up for him and supporting him. And I'm actually not feeling that tired, which is pretty crazy. But I have to say, I am very, 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 very excited to go home. You guys know I've been like on the go for months now. So very, very excited to go home. So yeah, next time you guys see me, I will be back in Connecticut. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This was one of my favorite vlogs I think I filmed in a long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time.